Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel where we review anything and everything. And today we're just taking a quick, I guess you could say advanced look or preview look of the Hammond Collection Giganotosaurus or Giganotosaurus, Giganotosaurus. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if anybody expected this from uh, Mattel to actually end up releasing this figure. I definitely would say it caught me off guard. I happened to see it. Um, on my target app and <clears throat> it just totally caught me off guard so i don't know how many of you guys it caught off guard but um because of all the ones that they could have put out in my opinion it, that you know you it could have been any dinosaur i heard people speculating that they would put out a hammock collection um spinosaurus so who knew what they were going to put out but the truth is that this actually makes sense in light of the most recent movie even though it's been now probably what is it over a year now that that movie came out um it just in that in that aspect it kind of makes sense and it definitely looks like they did a really good job because i felt that the other versions the um play versions um in my opinion seem to let me just blow up some of the photos here in my opinion seem to There we go. I'm sorry. Sorry, you guys. I'm trying to figure this thing out in terms of zooming in, and so you guys can see a little better. But um, <clears throat> the the play the play scale version seemed to be, which is going to have a similar scale, just a little bit more proportionately accurate, but seemed to not really look like the movie. In in my opinion, I mean, in general, it kind of did, but it didn't really look like the movie. You know, comment down below if you if you agree or not. This one looks like it's exactly like the movie version. In addition, um, they have made this one a lot longer in, in size and in scale compared to the way that the play scale version was because, um, I'm sorry, I'm getting that term from Lego's play scale version. Uh, I'm just gonna say the main line. Um, for the main line version, the main line version wasn't even really that big, even for, its own comparison to other mainline Tyrannosaurus, for example, um, were bigger than it. So that one was definitely not in proportion to the movie version of uh, Giganotosaurus. And in addition to that, um, in addition to that, it just, like I said, between, between the size of the scaling and the way it looked, it really just didn't feel like it was it was giving you what you saw into the movie, especially considering that um, Jurassic World chose to make the uh, Giganotosaurus larger than the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Though I've seen some depictions in different, um, you know, if you do some research, that might say that the ty the T Rex is is larger in some capacity or heavier, but. Being that Jurassic World chose to go, the Jurassic Park Jurassic World franchise chose to go in the direction of making him definitely bigger, you would have thought that reflected in the figure, and it actually didn't by any means. Um, sorry, you guys. I just want it, it to be able to fit up close in the frame, but it seems like I'm not able to do that on here. Um so we see some of the shots that they have here of this. I mean, it has some upgraded features that, um, well, some things taken from it that the T-Rex had and some things that are new. Some of the new things are the tail is actually able to um, articulate more so with a, a flexible or bendy second half of the tail, or the, the ending part of the tail. He has the lifelike teeth the the soft rubber teeth the posable tongue this time so i don't know if the other one was posable but it definitely was lifelike and one of the more realistic tongues which you also seen in um the um epic roaring uh tyrannosaurus rex and that was passed down into the hammock collection tyrannosaurus rex for the most part they're the same tongue i've done a past video in that before if you want to check it out um so he has the, that same kind of tongue but this time it's posable is what they say um, in addition, obviously he has the glass eyes, he has the soft jaw muscles. So all that is nice for it to be like a collector's piece that would, you know, um, 
you know, go on your shelf or whatnot. In addition, you can see here from the feet, the feet actually look from what I'm seeing, definitely more proportionate to the way it should be versus the way the Tyrannosaurus Rex's feet were. So maybe that's something they will go back to change for the Tyrannosaurus Rex. This one's feet look at least a little bit more in line with the mainline Tyrannosaurus Rex's feet size, which is considerably smaller than the Hammond Collection's feet size. Um, in addition to that, the length of this and the size of it in general has been totally upgraded. So we're looking at here, let's go into some descriptions, 29 inches long. So just to give you guys a concept or a little bit of comparison, it says more than 29 inches long, so maybe it's 29 and a half. But just to give you an um, idea of comparison, so the Tyrannosaurus Rex is 24 inches long, which is the longest T-Rex that exists. But uh, I'm sorry, as far as the... As far as the mainline collection goes, not as far as it exists. The far as the mainline collection goes, it is the longest T-Rex um, that exists in the mainline collection. If you know, con comparing the Hammond collection to the mainline collection, because obviously, even though Hammond collection is more um, detailed and, and more of a premium figure, it still is within the same scale for the most part as the mainline collection. Now. It is the longest of the of the Tyrannosaurus Rex and coming more closer in line to what the actual Tyrannosaurus Rex would be in length. I've done this before where I was mistaken and I thought that it was 25 inches long, um, which kind of throwed off the measurement of just being equal to 40 feet long. But at 24 inches, and I'm going to convert that. I'm doing it on my calculator right now. That equates to 38.4 feet in terms of the actual scaling of that three and three quarter inch scaling. Um, it would have been 40 feet if it was 25 inches long. Now here you have 29 inch long Giganotosaurus. This puts him drastically larger than the T-Rex. I'm going to calculate that now for scale. And it comes up to 46.4 feet long. So a full eight feet longer um when it comes to scale within scale so that's a that's a big difference um in in size that's that is eight feet is 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 pretty much another uh what do you call it like another owen and a half almost so that's like you know uh, a person and a half almost um no, yeah, that is a person and a half, a yellow brown, exactly. So he is very, very huge in its size. Um, so that's pretty much the details on that. I'm not going to run too long into it. I think it looks very nice. Um, I think a lot of people are going to be excited to get it. I think it does show promise also that where they're going to end up taking the line, that there's that the sky's the limit now because if they're doing um, jumping straight to Jurassic World Dom Dominion already, but they went from the first movie and whatnot. They're all over the place with things. They gave you the Carnotaurus from Jurassic World series as well. Um, they are probably going to end up making every figure in a Hammond collection, which I'm sure a lot of people will be looking forward to. Um, just wanted to throw this out there real quick and just kind of for those who didn't know that this was coming out, you, have, you can pre-order, though. A lot of the pre-orders are already sold out, as you can see here on the screen for Target. But um, and if I'm not mistaken, there's probably a Target exclusive, but the pre-order will be, I'm sure, available again soon. It's releasing on June 2nd, which is about a month away now because we're almost in May. So um, not that long away. So it's interesting that it seems like they just announced it yet. It's almost available like almost instantly. Um, so a lot of people, I'm sure, are going to be happy about that. Also, take a look. Be on the lookout for um, the uh diplodocus the legacy collection diplodocus um i'm just gonna throw a quick picture of that up real quick okay so here goes this one you know what's funny this is part of the legacy collection but what's very funny about this one i'm looking at the release date and it's september 29th so this one's actually coming out later though this one was i i believe announced before the um giganotosaurus so 
just be mindful of that. And yeah, as always, you guys like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm not going to go into too much detail with this one because it's coming out a lot later. So, um, and this one's actually been on notice for a little bit longer of a time period. Um, so it says 56 inches long, which is, if I'm not mistaken, the longest one uh, that there is, 13 inches tall. Um, I'm not sure the height on the other ones, but um obviously the brachiosaurus is a lot taller than that but uh in terms of its regular size you know obviously the platycus is going to be more angled long wise and not so much going vertically but i'm not going to jump too much detail into this one like i said because this one's been out for a while in terms of its preview and everyone reviewing it and whatnot as far as as a preview and speaking on it the giganotosaurus just was revealed to me so i just wanted to jump on that and let you guys know about it but i'm definitely going to be doing a review on this figure when it comes out i already have it on pre-order um and like as always you guys like share comment subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next video